Hello, and welcome back to another mess messy craft room mystery crochet tutorial. Today I'm using a G hook and some um, variegated yarn, blue white variegated yarn that I have in my scrap bag. It's medium four weight yarn, as usual. So first, we're going to attach the yarn to the hook. And we're going to chain five. Then we're going to slip stitch into the first chain we made. And we're going to chain 11. chain 11 and then we are going to single crochet into our chain uh, circle we made single crochet into the circle I'm gonna then make another single crochet into the circle so it should look like this this time we are going to chain 10 and then we're going to single crochet into the circle and then we're going to make another single crochet right into the circle And then we're going to chain 10. And then single crochet into the circle. And then another single crochet into the circle. and then chain 10 and then single crochet into the circle and then and of course we're going to single crochet and we're going to chain 10 and we're going to single crochet into the circle and should look like this, should have five little points like that Next, we're going to slip stitch into the big chain 11 space we made. And then we're going to make four single crochets. Then we're going to make one half double crochet right into that same 11 chain space. One half double crochet. And then one double crochet into the same space. And then we're going to chain three. Like so. And we're going to do another double crochet into the chain 11 space. then half double crochet to the space and then we're going to make four single crochets into chain 11 space just like that and then lastly we're going to slip stitch into the chain 11 space 
voila. Now we are going to slip stitch into the next chain space, the chain 10 space. Now we're going to repeat this by first doing four single crochets into this 10 chain, 10 chain space. Four single crochets. And then we're going to make a half double crochet into our space and then a double crochet and then we're going to chain three and do a double crochet into our space and then a half double crochet then a half double crochet and then chain, I mean four single crochets into our chain space just like that looks good and then we're going to slip stitch into the chain 10 space that we're in and then I'm sorry but look at this this looks interesting on its own anyways you can slip stitch into the next chain chain after you slip stitch into your chain 10 space you're going to slip stitch into the next one and just keep repeating this four single crochet one half double crochet one double crochet chain three one double crochet half double crochet and then chain um, then four single crochet two three four single crochets there and then we slip stitch into our 10 chain space we're working in and then we will slip stitch into the next chain space where we will repeat everything we have been doing hey this could be a cool another cool butterfly it's not actually we're not making a butterfly but like you could make this into another butterfly <laughs> okay four single crochet into the chain space we're working in half double crochet double crochet chain three you know what I just realized I have been doing this wrong but it's still gonna come out okay this is the chain to chain three the pattern you're supposed to slip stitch somehow oh you're supposed to slip stitch they're supposed to be picket stitches on the end but they still look okay so anyways double crochet half double crochet and then four single crochet I mean, it's, I'm bound to mess up since I'm doing it blind with you all, because I think it's more fun that way. But uh, I'm sorry that I mess up so much. And then slip stitch into the same space we're working in. And then on our last one, we're going to slip stitch in four single crochet. Half double crochet, 
double crochet, chain three, double crochet, half double crochet, and then chain four, and then slip stitch into what you're working in and then we're going to slip stitch just somehow in this area like slip stitch in the uh, this little gap right here now mine's kind of bunched but I'll lay it flat for you Oh, look how beautiful now. <laughs> okay, we'll just stretch it out here to see what we have created. Kind of like another star. Another, like, chunkier looking star. It's actually supposed to look more like a flower. I didn't do the pickets at the top. I just chained three because I wasn't paying attention. Um, probably hard to see with the yarn I also chose. <laughs> I mean, like, let me just... You kind of can see... It probably would look good in a solid color, not this variegated color I chose, but I think it's okay. You know, it kind of like it looks more like a starfish to me than a flower, but I'm not mad at it. I don't know what, what do you guys think. I'm sure your yours came out way way be more pretty. Well, thank you for watching this episode of my mystery crochet tutorial videos. Um, stay tuned for next Thursday and Friday for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.